The automotive industry develops quickly each year, bringing with it incredible new and exciting car innovations. Vehicles are always evolving. Every year, new technology is released that quickly improves our go-to everyday vehicles by introducing new features, enhancing the ones that already exist, or altogether revolutionizing the design. What can we expect from the next generation of cars? Will they continue to develop, or have we perfected the design? We've chosen the most exciting ideas, innovations, and upcoming models in the world of cars to show you today. Hello all, and welcome to our channel once again. In today's video, we'll have a look at some of the outstanding car technology that will change how we travel. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for such amazing updates. Now, let's get started. This is Tectastic. As technology develops, the roads and skies we use for urban mobility will undergo significant changes. While some of these innovations, like flying taxis and passenger pods that can travel at 600 miles per hour, seem far-fetched, many of these game-changing concepts are already in development, are undergoing testing, or are only a few regulatory hurdles away from becoming a reality. We are faced with significant issues as the transportation industry develops. Who would bear the financial burden of a collision involving an autonomous vehicle, despite the numerous regulatory and logistical difficulties these new concepts present? By lowering expenses, stress, and fatality rates, transportation innovations can enhance our quality of life. Here are six already in development breakthroughs in transportation. Maglev Trains in the 21st century, a few nations have created high-speed trains known as maglev trains using strong electromagnets. These trains, which utilize the basics of magnets to float over guideways, have replaced the traditional steel wheel and track trains. Almost negligible rail friction allows these trains to go at speeds of several hundred miles per hour. High speed is only one of the main advantages of maglev trains though. There is significantly less noise and vibration than with traditional earth-shaking trains since the trains seldom ever, if ever, touch the track. Maglev trains are less likely to experience delays brought on by bad weather since there is less vibration and friction, which leads to fewer mechanical faults. Maglev trains are also better for the environment because they don't use fossil fuels to run. The magnetic field produced by the combination of electrified coils in the guideway walls and the track is the engine that propels the train forward. There are six public maglev lines in use as of 2018. All of these lines are based in Asia, but beginning in 2020, maglev trains are anticipated to enter the United States. The first maglev train in the United States will run between Washington DC and Baltimore before extending its routes to New York. Delivery Drones Drones, also referred to as unmanned aircraft systems, are becoming more and more widespread in contemporary logistics operations. Prescription medications, packages, groceries, food, and other home healthcare supplies are all moved by drone delivery services. These drone delivery operations are becoming more and more significant in last mile delivery due to their accuracy, environmentally friendly operations, faster delivery times, and lower operational costs when compared to traditional delivery routes. Analysts estimate that compared to a vehicle delivery service model, operating expenses for a drone delivery service are 40% to 70% cheaper. Further accelerating the need for alternative, secure, and contactless delivery mechanisms are the COVID-19 pandemic. As a result, there is a greater demand worldwide for drone delivery services. In October, the first UPS drone made a prescription pharmaceutical delivery to a home in the United States after being given the necessary approvals by the Federal Aviation Administration. The FAA is probably warming up to the concept of full-scale commercial deliveries because this is the least restrictive legislation delivery drones have faced yet. Although the technology is now available, there are still regulatory hurdles to overcome before drones are widely used for full-scale commercial delivery. Currently, UPS can only deliver to hospitals and rural areas. Drones must demonstrate long-term dependability 
before they are type approved by the FAA and other international agencies because they do pose a risk to property and to human life. Flying taxis. Some automobiles on the road are not the only ones powered by electricity. In the near future, it might power the flying taxi that you order for your morning commute. Currently, technology is being developed specifically for aircraft intended to carry people over urban areas, usually without pilots. This newly formed aviation division, known as Urban Air Mobility, or UAM, is concentrating on using aeronautical innovation to develop on-demand automated passenger transportation. At least 20 companies are already working on prototypes of this aerial transportation system. In small planes, the flying taxis would transport passengers above urban areas. It's hoped that these flying taxis will offer comfortable, affordable journeys that don't bother people on the ground below, such as the $70 trip from Manhattan to JFK Airport. The expenses and restrictions are the major obstacles to flying taxis. Given current market trends and the lengthy regulatory process that still needs to be completed with the Federal Aviation Authority, it is impossible to produce safe, long-lasting aircrafts at an affordable price. Underground Roads With his concept of underground roadways, Elon Musk is rethinking conventional road architecture. By creating 3D highways, this futuristic concept hopes to address urban infrastructure problems. Musk thinks that moving automobiles underground, which is more weather resistant than moving them into the air, will reduce traffic and speed up transportation. The Boring Company is attempting to determine how to build the network of tunnels that will be required to support the subterranean roads. The idea is to use a metal elevator to lower cars underground and then move them quickly to different locations. The platform for the underground tunnel would resemble a metal trolley, and Musk expects it will be rapid and inexpensive. Additionally, it's been discovered that underground infrastructure is less vulnerable to earthquakes. According to Brewer, a strong earthquake in Chile in 2010 left Santiago in ruins on the surface but did little to no damage to the metro system. The tube and the soil are both moving. Therefore, the tunnel structure will only be a little impacted by the earthquake. Driverless Cars Despite some customer reluctance, the future of driverless cars, which are already in testing, seems inevitable. The opposition stems from concerns about safety and laws. Although Tesla has said that crash-like incidents are still significantly more likely with the autopilot deactivated, the autopilot system is already operational and has been involved in a number of documented accidents. Additionally, on the road and garnering attention for their driverless cars are Volkswagen, Uber, and Audi. Driverless automobiles aim to completely eliminate distracted driving as a source of fatalities on American roads by having AI drive cars instead of people. Additionally, driverless automobiles will be made to take fewer chances and have fewer accidents due to speeding. However, the estimated expenditures for these autos are higher than $100,000. Other drawbacks include issues with privacy, moral dilemmas, legal repercussions, and many more. Hyperloop New ground transportation called the Hyperloop is currently being developed by a number of companies. Floating pods that race through vast low-pressure tubes above or below the ground may carry passengers at speeds of exceeding 700 miles per hour. There are two significant differences between the standard rail and the Hyperloop. Most of the air has been removed from the tubes or tunnels that the passenger pods go through in order to lessen friction. The pods should be able to travel up to 750 miles per hour thanks to this. Second, the pods are made to float on air skis, which is similar to how an air hockey table works, or use magnetic levitation to reduce friction rather than wheels like on a train or a car. The Hyperloop, according to its proponents, may be more convenient, quicker, and less polluting than driving, taking the train, or flying. They assert that it takes less time and costs less money to build than conventional high-speed rail. Therefore, the Hyperloop might be utilized to relieve traffic congestion on congested roadways, facilitating travel between cities, and possibly generating significant economic gains as a result. 
Another transportation idea from Elon Musk is the Hyperloop, which is a tube that would carry cargo or passenger groups through a pressurized track. The Hyperloop's top speed would be at least 600 miles per hour. This concept is being realized by a number of businesses, and as early as 2024, the passenger service Hyperloop may be on the horizon. And with this, we conclude our video, guys. Some of these technologies are way beyond our imagination. Which of these technologies impressed you the most? Is there any other future transportation technology that we missed out on? Please let us know in the comments down below. Also, if you like our work, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.